The new engine is a 2.0-liter four-cylinder with a twin-scroll turbocharger, a forged steel crankshaft, direct injection, and twin balance shafts. With maximum boost of 24 pounds per square inch, the engine produces 259 horsepower and 295 pounds to foot of torque. The GS thus sees a drop of 11 horses, the torque stays the same, while the turbo gains 39 horsepower and 35 pounds to foot different engine maps of the GS making maximum to work at 2,500 revolutions per minute versus 3,000 in the turbo, but horsepower in both versions tapers off after a 5,300 revolution per minute peak. A six-speed manual transmission is again offered on the front-wheel drive GS, with GM 6-speed 6 6T70 6 automatic the default choice for GSA WD models and the only gearbox for turbos. This year also brings a new, optional Haldix all-wheel drive system that can shuttle up to 90% of the power to the rear wheels, as well as an electronic limited slip differential that apportions to work to either side of the rear axle. As you might have surmised from the headline on this story, we tested versions of the Turbo and the GS with this system. Along with bolstering appeal among snowbuilders and fattening MSRPs, an additional $2,175 for the Turbo, $2,365.